That gives you a better view right there. Good morning, Saints, and welcome to Pastor Kemp's Corner of Power. I was outside earlier, but the glare, you know, they're trying to give me a little widow's peak right there. But anyway, but the glare from outside, I couldn't, um, I couldn't videotape. So the morning motivation and scripture for today is coming from a very familiar scripture, Psalms, the 23rd Psalms, the second verse. And, you know, if you were a kid in church, you know, there were some things that you had to remember. You had to memorize John 3.16. You had to memorize Psalms 23. And this is the word that the Lord gave me for this morning. Psalms 23 um, begins, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And then verse 2 says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. Well, what on earth does that mean? Well, verse one sort of sets it up. He's your shepherd, so you don't have to want for anything. You know, he's using an analogy of sheep and the shepherd. So if the Lord is your shepherd and you're one of his sheep, you don't have to want for anything. He maketh me uh, lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. So he's going to take you and put you in a place of green pastures where you will be able to eat continually. How about that? So the Lord will meet all of your needs and your desires. He makes you lie down in green pastures. I get excited about that, y'all. You know, sometimes on this YouTube, I'm kind of low key, you know, especially in my original content videos. I don't know if y'all noticed because my daughter was like, yeah, mom, you need to be a little bit more lively. But when I start talking about the scripture and about God's word, Woo, I get a pep in my step. <laughs> so the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. In other words, he's going to satisfy you. How about that? If you are his sheep and he is your shepherd, he's going to make you lie down where there's plenty. You don't have to want for anything. So that's the word on this Monday morning. I want to let y'all know I've been playing around with keto. You know, it's been uh, keto. It's been a holiday time, but I'm starting my keto journey today, and I'm going to make my first keto recipe. I Like I said, I've been playing around. I've cut back on my carbs so much, and I can really tell the difference um, with that energy level, but I really have to look, look it up again, some of the side effects. Um, but anyway, happy Monday to you, and I think I'm about to go live, and just, you know, I'm still exploring YouTube, but y'all have a blessed day. You know that I love you. I love you with that agape love. You have a blessed day. Most of all, you have a purpose-filled life in Jesus' name, and don't just be blessed. Stay blessed. Stay on the blessing side in Jesus' name. God bless you.